What's up, you wonderful people? I figured it was about time I made a video, seeing as every time I live stream this amazing game, I'm asked, what is it? What is Naraka? Where can I get it? Is it available on PC? What does this person do? What does that person do? And all the other questions. So I thought I would make a little video here, one that I can refer people to whenever they ask me, so I don't have to keep answering over and over again. And to just to to hopefully spread some more love for this game and, and getting some more eyes because the game really is incredible and deserves all the attention and hopefully we can build a better player base and continue to get some more content out and really help this game grow so without further ado welcome to naraka blade point this game was created by a 24 entertainment and has just released this month on the 10th uh, back around E3 time, we had a beta available where they uh, let people preview the game and gained a lot of stats and stuff to better it before they did the full release. So Naraka Blade Point is a 60 player action battle royale offering players mobility powered by a grappling hook, some insane parkour, a huge arsenal of melee and ranged weapons, and a roster of characters with powerful abilities. Right now we have these servers. We have China, North America, Europe, Asia, and Southeast Asia. Now I know my oceanic friends might be a little concerned, but there is a oceanic node available in Southeast Asia. So while they're working on bringing out some more servers for all of us, we can connect to Southeast Asia and it will prioritize playing with other oceanic players and you can play with a ping maybe as low as 50. Um, I really personally don't feel it too much. So I, I don't complain. All right, so let's click to start. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on this game. Uh, what, what kind of weapons we have, um, and maybe in another video, I'll go into more detail about the characters and their abilities. Now, I'm obsessed with this game. Uh, look, I'm already level 50. I've been playing quite a lot. Okay, so Battle Royale, right? We've all heard it. It's been done. It's boring. Like, it's, it's a well, well thrashed genre really and that's one thing that i love about this game is that it is a really unique take on a genre that is so tired um it's melee based battle royale so we have a huge arsenal of weapons that i will go through and show you guys um as well but so we have solos and trios the herald's trial is the battle royale mode the quick match solo and trios as well that is so herald's trial is a ranked version of, of the battle royale quick match is your pubs so your public lobbies without any sort of penalty to your score or ranking uh the bloodbath is is like a somewhat death match kind of mode um you respawn you can choose your own weapons it's a really great way to practice all of your um fighting and movement and parrying and such there are some tutorials and free training where you can train with some bots that's also a great way to practice and uh you can even create your own custom lobbies which is amazing for a game so uh early on all right so home page one thing that really drew me to this game and i think a lot of you guys that really love character customization are going to appreciate this as well is the level of customization we can go into with our characters is rpg like mmo rpg level it's it's insane it's insane so like most battle royales we have a lineup of heroes or legends or whichever you want to call them they are called heroes in this so they do have a set a set uh abilities so they have your skill and your ultimate um and then you can go even further by shaping them how you want to play them when i was talking about the customization okay these are all our default skins when you click collection, this is a huge array of skins available in to purchase, or you can get them in the loot boxes. 
right so you got that but then you can also go next level with accessories so we have head accessories some of them are pretty funny you've got accessories you can attach to the back you've got grappling hook skins this is the one that came with the ultimate edition of the game this is the default side pieces and head pieces these are your skins right but hairstyles we have a, a bunch of hairstyles available and you can even go as far as choosing the color of your hair but wait there's more there are gestures and your communication cards that you can customize as well these are shown on the other screen now if you click customization you can go in and edit much like this this reminds me of fallout customization so you can go in and edit the forehead the brows the jaws the ears the cheeks the lips the nose the skin color you can do scars and tattoos and makeup i can show you what i have created personally um but first uh, there is also the option to smart customize and that is where you would upload a photo of your choice it can be yourself you can pull an image from google and you can really really let your creativity shine now my viper looks like this i haven't got my hair and stuff equipped on her right now but um i went for like a sneaky kind of look so in another video i'm gonna go down through the legends and really describe to you um their abilities and how they can be customized and who i like to use and everything but i am a matari main she's definitely my favorite character now when it comes to talents and skills and ultimates as well we go even further by having a glyph board so as you level up your account you will unlock more and more slots of the glyphs and these add little bonuses and you can shape them however you want little bonuses to your character and you can have three sets that you sort of switch between again we'll go into more detail into this in another video now the lineup of weapons that i want to show you these are the weapons available in the arsenal we have the ranged weapons the repeating crossbow a musket which is a single shot rifle the cannon the pistol and this one might this one might confuse you a little bit because it is actually more like a shotgun we have the bow the swarm now you're lucky to get this thing it fires as you can see all these bolts at once and the flame bringer which is a uh, pretty self-explanatory it's a flamethrower <laughs> now melee weapons we have a long sword katana great sword spear dagger and the most annoying weapon in the game the blood ripper they just brought this in on full release you it is very rare to get this thing and if you see this coming at you you definitely want to get away as quick as you can it's it's nasty it's it's very nasty now title is the battle pass so this is the game's battle pass uh, where you can get all kinds of rewards as you progress there is a paid battle pass and then just a simple one completely up to you how you want to do it right now so i will give some other explanations about the movement of the actual game and we can go into the mobility and everything like that but this game is stunning it's uh, eastern themed and which is just beautiful i i i love eastern culture eastern art and folklore and oh amazing i just love when selecting the battle royale mode you will load into a match be able to select your hero you can also choose the skill set that you want to use you will load into a lobby with up to 60 other players where there'll be a cooldown and you can choose the location of your spawn point the golden circled areas that appear on the map are the areas where the 
highest rarity of loot will spawn those areas tend to be what we call you know the hot drops of a br zone that's where you're going to find the best loot but it's also where you're probably going to find the most people contending for it the red squares that you see on the map are where other players are also choosing to drop so you can use your own judgment there whether you want to contend someone for that area or go somewhere a little more secluded and play your hand at rng so upon landing in, it's really, like I said, RNG, what you get. You open up these troves. So the troves are colored in um, order of, of rarity. So blue is your standard trove that you open and it's random what you can drop from those. So the, the Vitalia is uh, those little red berries. That is your health. Then you get the armor powder, which is that blue powder that you can see. And then you get a grapple stools. Now, grappling stools are, are your grapples. So they are dependent on how many you have in your inventory. And um, the rarity of weapons ranges from gray to gold. So it'll go gray, blue, purple, gold. Gold being the best version of what you can get. And the same for armor and ranged weapons as well. By default, you have two slots that you can switch between with your weapons. You can also upgrade your weapon backpacks and your item packs. That's going to increase the amount of things that you can carry in the game. And then you also have soul jades. Now, soul jades is probably going to have to be another video to go into describe it because there are quite a lot of soul jades that you can pick up they will do things like increase your health increase your attack increase or oh, sorry decrease the damage that you take from melee or ranged attacks but then you can also get soul jades that will increase the damage you can do with a weapon uh, add an extra move type that you can do to a weapon and so much more like i said that's probably going to have to be another video it's quite intricate now, movement in Naraka is like nothing you would have ever done before. I mean, we could maybe compare it to like Assassin's Creed. It's kind of like that in that you jump near a ledge, you are going to grab onto it. You can then climb up, you can climb over, you can just hang there. You can do all sorts of things. And then you've got your grapple points as well, which um, you can use again, depending on how many grapples you actually have in your inventory. You can dash, you can dodge, <laughs> you can crouch. The The movement's insane and you can really experiment with it and what you what you want to do. You can slide and crawl and, and hide in bushes and climb trees. It's, it's crazy. The mobility is, again, like nothing I've ever played before. There are scrolls scattered throughout the map as well. Gold ones being little objectives you can do to get more money. Um, and uh, blue ones are actually bounties. So uh, you, if you know what a bounty is, it's sort of where you put a target on someone's head and you need to go and kill them. And you kill them for extra coins as well. Now the coins in this game are called Dark Tide coins. And you can use these at a rift dealer which is a creepy old thing in a in a little treasure chest and you go there and you spend your coins to buy things like armor powder uh vitalia which is the healing berries you can increase the slots in your weapon backpack and your item backpack as well as your soul jades as well now that purple zone that you see there on the map that is what we call uh, the moon bane or the, sh or the shadow bane even. Um, there is this giant dragon in the sky that appears and he can also cast something called bane breath, which is uh, something you can buy from the rift dealer as well. You don't want to get caught in that. Um, eventually that's going to get smaller and smaller and the idea is that you don't get caught in it and it pushes everyone in together the same style battle royale that you imagine uh whether that's uh you know the zone a storm etc now here we've encountered a fight that's already engaged 
and our bounty was un unfortunately killed by another player but we're picking off some shots trying to see what i can do here uh eventually i will i will jump in and uh fight with this one i'm using a long sword the long sword is my favorite weapon in the game um next next to that i would say the spear is probably my favorite so you have your left click and your right click attacks both are different right click is your stronger attack which you can charge and the left click is your standard uh, now, if you click left click and right click together, you're going to do something called a parry. Now, if you do that at the right time, you can actually effectively disarm your opponent. Um, and one of my favorite things to do in this game <laughs> is to disarm my opponents and steal their weapons. Uh, it's, it makes for a pretty comedic thing when you're, when you're watching your opponent panic because they no longer have a weapon. And uh, it's quite easy to dispatch them quite uh, just after that. But that that's a quick rundown of the game. I mean, there's there's going to be a lot more to show you in the end. But uh, there's just a little preview of uh, just a little fight and the map and the mechanics in the game. So there you go. There's a brief overview of Naraka Blade Point from 24 Entertainment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped inform you a little bit about this game, maybe helped you decide whether you're going to get it or not. You can currently purchase the game on Steam or Epic Games. Uh, with, if you're a bit confused on whether you want to get the Deluxe or Ultimate Edition, anything paid in Naraka Blade Point is purely cosmetic. So it's really up to you whether you want to get those pretties or not. Uh, let me know if you get the game. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. I'm happy to help. I really hope that this helps uh, bring some players to the game and garner it a little bit more attention because this game just deserves a lot more attention and I really cannot wait to see what they do with the game in the future. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Come hang out in one of my live streams. I stream most days over on Twitch. I'd love to love for you to come say hello and hang out and watch me play. Um, I hope you all are taking care in this very confusing and frustrating time uh take care of yourselves guys be kind i will see you all next time bye